Sketching tools are what allow you to express ideas in 3D. Present the sketching tools menu by pressing the purple button on your non-drawing hand controller. These tools are separated into four categories, draw, surface, shapes, and text. We will briefly cover each category while showing how simply tool settings can be modified. The default drawing tool is the ink tool, yet all drawing tools function very similarly with nearly identical input settings. The ink tool is most similar to a sketch and provides an easy way to rapidly create initial form ideas. The tools options panel displays the settings of your tool as well as shapes that the tool can take. You can also reach out and grab these menu panels to place them within the sketch. Press the tools button again to snap the panel back onto your drawing hand. The buttons at the top left of the menu allow you to change between input modes of your tool. The area to the upper right is a dynamic range for your tool shape and size. Using your drawing hand controller, select the point within the grid and move it around to actively modify the shape of your tool. The buttons beneath this area provide different set shapes for your tool to be reshaped with. The slider options include utilities like planar mode, allowing you to sketch directly onto a 2D plane. The polar symmetry slider at the bottom right of your menu panel allows you to reflect your tool along a singular axis. Select and slide the circle up to 12 reflections. Set the axis in any direction by squeezing the index trigger on your non-drawing hand. Set it along a designated axis by pulling the same trigger but only halfway. A corresponding axis will be projected in space. The volume tool at the bottom creates a three-dimensional shape from the displacement of your drawing area. This tool is incredibly helpful when wanting to quickly produce organic 3D geometry. Surface is the next category within creation tools. Here you will find four ways of creating surfaces, plus revolve surface tools at the bottom. Surfacing is super easy inside of Gravity Sketch. Squeeze the index trigger on your non-drawing hand controller to first get a preview of your surface. Then squeeze the index trigger on your drawing hand simultaneously, gesturing your arms in 3D space. Within the settings panel, you can adjust the arc of your surface as well as select between input modes that include mixed input and point mode, also bridge curves and surface from spline. Bridging curves is a powerful feature, so let's go over it briefly. First, go back to ink tool and draw two curves in space. Then go back to surface and select the bridge curves input mode. Make sure full curve is switched on within the menu panel. Then bridge the curves by squeezing only the index trigger on your non-drawing hand first. Then squeeze your drawing hand index trigger to snap the surface into position. The revolve tool creates a fully revolved surface in an instant by squeezing the drawing hand index trigger. The tool operates in mixed input mode or point mode as well. And similar to setting your polar symmetry axis, you create your revolve axis the same way, by either half or fully squeezing the index trigger on your non-drawing hand controller and moving your controller along a desired axis. You can change the thickness, circumference, and shape of your revolution within the menu panel as well. Next, we have shapes. These shapes can be changed once selecting them and created through multiple input modes. To create a 3D shape, use both index triggers on either controller, half pressing the drawing hand controller trigger for a preview, then pulling the drawing hand trigger to create. In one hand mode, use just the index trigger on your drawing hand to create, or create your geometry directly based off of an axis, half squeezing the non-drawing hand index trigger to set your axis. These primitive shapes can be turned into subdivisional objects before or after they're created, yet only the basic shapes can be converted. Lastly, we have text tool options. Select a font and then place text directly into the sketch by squeezing the drawing hand index trigger. This 3D text can be moved freely and edited afterwards. All creation tools will preserve settings across sessions, and you can even name these drawing, surfacing, shapes, and text tools by selecting the name at the top of the menu panel. Reset your brush library by going to Preferences within Settings and selecting Reset Brushes.